Okay, um, today we're going to learn how to write equivalent forms for exponential and logarithmic functions. It means we're going to go from exponential form to logarithmic form and back again. And this is really important to grasp because we need it for the rest of the chapter. And you have to be able to go back and forth pretty easily. We're also going to write, evaluate, and graph logarithmic functions. We're actually not going to graph them. Um, and those are our three vocabulary words. Okay, let's think about this. How many times would you have to double one dollar before you had eight? Okay, one dollar doubles to get two, two doubles to get four, four doubles to get eight. Okay, so we had to um, think about it, which isn't very difficult when it's one dollar to get eight. You can use an exponential equation to model the situation, which is that where you do um, x is 3 because we know that 2 to the third power is 8. That's our mental math. So you'd have to double the dollar three times to have eight dollars. One, two, three. Okay, not too difficult. This is exponential. But when it gets harder, how many times do you have to double the one dollar before you had five hundred and twelve dollars? That's, that's the mental math isn't as easy there. You can solve this problem if you could solve 2 to the x equals 8 by an inverse operation. It's the inverse operation that undoes raising a base to an exponent equation. So um, this is an exponential equation, and we want to do an inverse operation so we can solve for x. This operation is called finding the logarithm. That's the inverse of an exponent. A logarithm is the um, exponent to which a spe specified base is raised to obtain a given value. That's really um, difficult. Basically, the logarithm is the opposite of an exponent. Um, I may have talked about yesterday how addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Um, multiplication and division are inverse operations. Well, exponents and logarithms are inverse operations. You can write exponential equation as a logarithm equation and vice versa. This is extremely important. We need it all chapter. Okay, if you understand this, the chapter will be easier. Okay, and it's all color coordinated. If we have b to the x equals a, um, and we're trying to solve for x, we can switch it into, this is called exponential form, we can switch it into logarithmic form, where it's log base b, of a equals x. Um, and this is red, log base b of a is x. Notice that the log is the exponent. Okay, that was the exponent. That's how we solve for it. It's the inverse operation. Um, all right, so let's practice. We're going to write each exponential equation in logarithmic form. Remember, it's b to the x equals a goes to log base b of a equals x. So I have 3 to the 5th power equals 243. I'm going to switch that to log base 3 of 243 equals 5. Excuse that. Okay, log base b of 243 equals 5. Okay, there was a little mess up in my slide here, so I scribbled that out and I had to move it down to 1 half. So I get log base 25 of 5 equals 1 half. See how I'm just putting them in their different spots? Log base 10 of 10,000 equals 4. Oh, I have another error there. Sorry. This 1 6 should be a regular sized 1 6. It should go right there. So I have log base 6 of 1 6 equals negative 1. Log base A of C equals B. Whatever was in the exponent is now sort of our answer every single time. Okay? Now we're going to, actually I want you to try these. Push pause. There you go. Now we're going to go from logarithmic form to exponential form. 
converting from logarithmic to exponential form. Write each logarithmic form in, exponential e in an exponential equation. So I'll write it down again. I have b to the x equals a log base b of a equals x. Those are equivalent. So this gives me 9 to the first power equals 9. Okay, 2 to the ninth power equals 512. 8 to the one third power equals 2. And these are all true statements. You can plug these guys into your calculator and it's a true statement. I get 4 to the negative 2 equals 1 16th. Or b to the 0 equals 1 because anything raised to the 0 power is 1. You try these. There you go. Let's move on. All right, we need to learn some rules. A logarithm is an exponent, so the rules for exponents also apply to logarithms. You may have noticed the following properties in the last examples. Whenever I have um, log base b of b, if these two numbers, or if these two things, um, items, variables, numbers, doesn't matter, are the same, your answer is always gonna be one because if you switch that into exponential form, it's b to the first power equals b. Our example with numbers. If these two numbers are the same, our answer is one because 10 to the first power is 10, okay? The other thing we learn is the logarithm of one is always zero, no matter what the base is. Um, the logarithm one is always zero. So because if we switch it into exponential form, it's b to the zero power equals one. Okay, with real numbers. doesn't matter what the base is, but log of 1 equals 0 because 10 to the 0 power equals 1. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. A logarithm with base 10 is called a common logarithm. If no base is written for a logarithm, the base is assumed to be 10. It's important. Whenever you don't see something there, it's a 10. Okay? Always. Just like if I had a variable and there's no coefficient in front of it, you always know it's a one. Okay, the um, base for a log is always 10 if there's no answer, or if there's no base written there. Now we're gonna use some mental math to evaluate some logarithms. They're sort of like puzzles. Okay, we're gonna use, um, we're gonna evaluate these. That means solve them using mental math. I wanna know what they equal. And the easiest way to figure out what they equal is to put them into exponential form. Okay, we just said if there's no base, what is the base? 10. So this is really log base 10 of 0 0.01 equals something. The easiest thing to do, you know, this is x, is to put this into exponential form. 10 to the what power equals 0 0.01. Sort of a hard first example, but let's see if we can mess with it. 10 to the what power equals, this is actually 1 100th. Okay, now to get a number into the denominator of a fraction, my question mark needs to be negative. Okay, 10 squared is 100. So 10 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 100. So my question mark equals negative 2. So how we write our answer is negative 2. Let's try another. Evaluate by using mental math. So this equals something. And how we figure it out, we go 5 to the what power equals 125. Okay, now you can get out your calculator and do 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. So the question mark is 3. Another one. 5 to the what power equals 1 fifth. Now I just need to move that 5 into the denominator. So my question mark just needs to be a negative one. Okay, you try. I'm gonna help you out just a little bit. This is one, two, three, four, five. It's the same as one over 100,000. And it's log base 10. Okay, try to figure it out, push pause. Okay, there you go. If I do 10 to the fifth power, I get 100,000. If I do 10 to the negative fifth power, I do 1 over 100,000. 
Okay, try another one. Push pause. Actually, let me help you out again. Um, this is like four hundredths, because that's in the hundredth spot. That can be simplified to 1 over 25. Now it's pretty simple. Log base 25. And there you go. Helpful hint. Use the log key, or the log key, it's in your calculator, is used to evaluate logarithms in base 10. Second log, which is your 10 to the x power, is used to find 10 to the x, the inverse of log. We're going to get your calculator out. We're going to practice a few like that. Um, the table lists the hydrogen ion concentrations for a number of food items. Find the pH of each. pH is negative log of your hydrogen ion concentrations. So all we're going to do is type into our calculator negative log of point one two three four five six and get our answer. So I'm going to get my calculator out and do negative log. Log is along the left side of your calculator. One two three four five six two five and I get six point six. It has a pH of six point six. Okay tomatoes. Negative log point one two three four three one six I get a pH of 4.5 go ahead and practice this lemon juice should be pretty acidic so your pH should be acidic point one two six three so I'm counting zeros when I'm saying one two okay pretty acidic so these are your pHs Pretty simple word problem, right? You try this one. What is the pH of iced tea with a hydrogen concentration of 0 0.000158 moles per liter? Three point eight. That is it. Not too difficult.